from the streets of our region now to southeast Texas 155 years ago, the spirit of Juneteenth has been a sustaining inspiration. It's a day that should, for black folks, make us remember to remember, and for white folks, to remember that they forgot. Jamal Joseph is not just an Academy Award nominated filmmaker and Columbia University professor. He's also a cultural historian. He's talking about the origins of the Juneteenth holiday. On the first day of 1863, President Abraham Lincoln put into effect the Emancipation Proclamation, officially ending slavery in the U.S. More than two and a half years later, when a Union Army general entered Galveston, Texas, enslaved people there learned they were free. Juneteenth was born. Yes, it was a celebration, but remember that they had lied to us. It was the legal end of slavery, but the beginning of a struggle that continues to this day. People still had to work on those plantations. And when the plantation system began to devolve, there were the chain gangs. And when the chain gangs began to devolve, there were prisons, all of them using enslaved black labor. The historian says that the current protests strike a blow against the racism and white supremacy that run through American history today, whether those protests are vocal, or like this one at Gracie Mansion today are quiet. Tomorrow, there'll be a large Juneteenth march in Harlem. It's guaranteed to be large because it's usually the city's largest Juneteenth parade. Unfortunately, this year, we won't be able to have a parade because they're not issuing permits for social gathering. Uh, but we are going to march. Cordell Clear has organized the event with the historic Malcolm Shabazz Mosque for 27 years. Juneteenth is an important holiday, not just for black Americans, but for all Americans. Black, black history is American history, and we have to know the beginning to know where we're going. So These two sisters have been looking forward to it, whether it's a parade or a march. I'm glad that they're now finally making, making it worldwide known. President Trump even said this week that he made Juneteenth famous by planning his first new rally on this day in Tulsa, scene of one of the most brutal massacres of African Americans in history in the Greenwood neighborhood 99 years ago. The historian says that that tragedy, as well as the statements like the president's now, show there's still a long way to go. We need to recognize that as we're looking at the end of aspects of our oppression, this has to be the birth and the celebration, not only that we have more freedoms, but that we have to continue the fight and do that in a celebratory way. And that celebration continues here at Marcus Garvey Park. That march tomorrow, 11 a.m. in the heart of Harlem, 116th and Malcolm X, will be marching to make Juneteenth a holiday for everyone, statewide and nationwide. Reporting live from Harlem, I'm James Ford, PIX11 News.